last tidbit in the synapses notes is just to talk um, big picture about um, how we pay attention or attend to certain things and not others with our nervous system. So um, all action potentials start out with a local or graded potential, which could be triggered by chemicals or light or temperature or mechanical forces or whatever. Um, and then if you're heading for an action potential, you start with a depolarizing graded potential. If it hits threshold, then you get an action potential. And so in a cell, one action potential is like every other action potential because you open all the voltage gated ion channels. So how does your brain, your central nervous system, code for intensity? Well, we know this. It's frequency coding. It's not like a bigger action potential, but more frequency, frequent action potentials over time. But we also have the capacity to accommodate out extraneous information and pay more attention to uh, pertinent information. And that concept is called adaptation or accommodation. And so it works like this. Although the intensity of each action potential is constant, if I am encountering a constant stimulus, like the feeling of my clothes on my body or like a constant sound, then that is not likely to be something that will eat me, that I can eat, or that I could have sex with, which is generally going to require frequent action potentials evolutionarily. So if you're exposed to the same stimulus over a long period of time, and it's not in one of those categories, typically speaking, what happens is the receptors become less receptive to an unchanging stimulus. So like that hum of the air conditioner or the feel of my clothes. It's not as if I don't know that they're there, but I'm not spending much ATP on them. But if the stimulus changes, if it's louder or softer or anything, then you begin to fire action potentials very frequently because it's a new stimulus. So we spend action potentials on new stimuli, and then we keep spending them on those things that are evolutionarily valuable. You can eat it, it can eat you. Um, or you can, with your cerebral cortex, voluntarily decide to attend to my voice and watch this video. Um, sometimes a little harder than other times. Um, so we are basically set up to notice changes, to spend action potentials on changes disproportionately. And males and females tend to differ a little bit in our capacities for adaptation and accommodation. Males tend to be very good at single focus activity, and females tend to be very good at multiple foci. But that is overall not per individual. And we can talk about that in class if you'd like.